It's been almost a decade since Michael Schumacher suffered a skiing accident while visiting the French resort of Meribel with his family. The seven-time world champion had been out of Formula 1 for a year, having retired at the end of 2012 after a three-year comeback with Mercedes. Schumacher, an experienced skier, fell and hit his head on a rock and sustained a serious head injury, despite wearing a helmet. He was taken to hospital in Grenoble and operated on before being placed in a medically induced coma to help reduce swelling in his brain. By the summer of 2014, it was announced that Schumacher was no longer in a coma and had been transferred to the University Hospital in Lausanne, Switzerland. Schumacher returned to his family home in September of the same year to continue his treatment. Now, the Schumacher family has chosen to keep the details of Schumacher's condition private in the years since. Sabine Kim, Schumacher's manager, who now also looks into the F1's legend son Mick as he embarks on his own racing career, has spoken out on occasion to deny speculative stories about the 52-year-old. Jean Tot worked alongside Schumacher at Ferrari for many years before retiring as FIA president. The Frenchman pays frequent visits to Schumacher and provided a rare update earlier this year. But most of all, Michael has since chosen to communicate with fans through his family, primarily for his wife Karina, who provides the most frequent updates. She recently accepted an award on behalf of her husband, telling attendees how the driver has fared since his accident nearly a decade ago. Mrs Schumacher accepted the prestigious North Rhine-Westphalia State Prize earlier this year, which recognized the driver's pioneering career and gave fans a tearful update. She said, I miss Michael every day, but it's not just me who misses him, it's the children, the family, his father, everyone around him. I mean, everybody misses Michael, but Michael is here. Different, but he's here and that gives us strength, I find. We try to carry on a family as Michael liked it and still does, and we're getting on with our lives. Private is private, as he always said. It's very important to me that he can continue to enjoy his private life as much as possible. Michael always protected us, and now we're protecting Michael. She also spoke about the treatment that Schumacher continues to receive at home. We do therapy, we do everything we can to make Michael better and to make sure he's comfortable and to simply make him feel our family, our bond and no matter what, I will do everything I can, we all will. Meanwhile, Mick Schumacher expressed his disappointment at not being able to share his experiences and discuss his racing career with his father. Since the accident, these family experiences, these moments that I believe many people have with their parents are no longer present or to a lesser extent and in my view that is a little unfair. I think dad and me, we would understand each other in a different way now, simply because we speak a similar language, the language of motorsport and that we would have much more to talk about. And that's where my head is most of the time, thinking that would be so cool, I would give up everything just for that. Schumacher's former Ferrari boss, Tot, said the racer has remained strong. In 2019, he told Radio Monte Carlo that he'd watched an F1 race with a driver and he's still fighting. Tot stated, I'm always careful with such statements, but it's true. I saw the race together with Michael Schumacher at his home in Switzerland. Michael is in the best hands and is well looked after in his house. He does not give up and he keeps fighting. Tot mentioned their relationship is not quite the same as it once was and Schumacher's family continues to fight with him. His family is fighting just as much and of course our friendship cannot be the same as it once was just because there's no longer the same communication as before. He continues to fight and his family is fighting the same way. Another optimistic update came from former F1 boss Bernie Eccleston, who stated in September 2022 that he expected Michael to be able to answer questions about his health himself one day. He's not with us at the moment, but when he gets better, he'll answer all the questions. While Schumacher continues to recover, only a few people are permitted to see him. Luca Badoa, a former Ferrari colleague of Schumacher's, stated that only his wife decides who's allowed to visit. This secrecy has been a factor in a recent feud between one of Schumacher's former associates and his family. Willy Weber, Schumacher's former manager, has made some shocking allegations against the F1 driver's family. Weber claimed in an interview with La Gazzetta dello Sport that he's not been permitted to visit Schumacher since his near-fatal accident, despite being close to the seven-time world champion. I tried hundreds of times to contact Karina and she didn't answer. I called Jean Tot to ask him if I should go to the hospital and he told me to wait, it's too early. I called the next day and no one answered. I didn't expect behavior like that and I'm still angry about it. They kept me out, telling me it's too early. Well, now it's too late. It's been nine years. Maybe they should just say it's the way it is. I could understand the situation initially, as I always did everything I could for Michael to protect his private life. But since then, we've only heard lies from them. 
Years after the accident, I said to myself to just look out for the family as I couldn't change things. He was like a son to me. Even today it hurts me to talk about it. Weber has since singled out Karina, accusing her of excluding him. I know that Michael has been hit hard, but unfortunately, I don't know what progress he makes. I like to know how he's doing and shake hands or stroke his face, but unfortunately, this is rejected by Karina. She's probably afraid that I'll see right away what's going on and make the truth public. Weber's accusations may indicate that Schumacher's recovery isn't going as well as his family claims, and the fact that it's all being kept under wraps only adds to the speculation. In fact, even highly skilled professionals have come out to speculate on the German's condition, with neurologist Eric Riederer elaborating on Schumacher's current state of health. I think he's in a vegetative state, which means he's awake but unresponsive. He's breathing, his heart is beating, he can probably sit up and take small steps with help, but no more. I think that's the maximum for him. Is there any chance of seeing him as he was before his accident? I really don't think so. Aside from all the talk about Schumacher's health or whatever conspiracy theories are floating around, it's impossible to deny that the German has had one of the most illustrious careers in sport history, not just Formula 1. Except for Lewis Hamilton, no one has even come close to winning as many championships as Schumacher, and his incredible talent and dedication have been a true gift to F1. Nonetheless, comparisons to another paddock figure, Max Verstappen, who won his second title in the Japanese Grand Prix, have already been made. Some big shoes to fill, no doubt, but Max clearly applies himself fully to racing, as Michael did, and has a sheer will to win that most of his peers lag. Indeed, it's widely assumed that if Red Bull continues to supply good cars to Max, he will not be satisfied with two titles, and it's up to Mercedes and Ferrari to challenge what could be a new era of dominance for the Milton Keynes-based team and their Dutch superstar. After winning the United States Grand Prix in Austin, Verstappen has now tied the single-season record for most wins with 13, something only two other drivers, Michael Schumacher and Sebastian Vettel, have done. Indeed, it's the Dutchman's blistering performances and impeccable skill that have brought back memories of the legendary Michael Schumacher in everyone's mind. Verstappen, like Michael, is calculated and ruthless in his driving, risking everything when necessary while also capable of playing the numbers game and settling for the good of the team and the championship. Few drivers have been able to demonstrate this quality over the years, and it truly distinguishes the good from the best. So, whatever Michael Schumacher's condition is, we can be certain that when he watches the races on TV, he sees the same special talent that others had once witnessed in him. Thanks for watching.